uh, speaking of that, if the Senate does come to some sort of agreement on a bill, like we mentioned, it's going to make it, uh, it would probably make it harder to get into the United States. There is no discussion about a path to citizenship or residency for, for immigrants. Uh, do you think that Democrats would be willing to support this in the House of Representatives? We always talk about Republicans demanding more, but the Democrats are still a question, too. What are you telling your colleagues uh, should this uh, come up for a vote? Well, you know, first of all, uh, let me talk about how we see things at the border. I live at the border and we always smile when a new president comes in. We either feel that they go too much to the left or too much to the right. We felt that President Trump went too far to the right, don't let anybody in, put a Muslim ban, uh, build a border wall, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and then we have President Biden that some of us feel that he's just letting too many people in at one time. Uh, and we always want to look at that more moderate type of approach because the border is more than just immigration. Uh, the border with Mexico is a very dynamic area where every year, last year we had $863 billion of trade, our number one trading partner. That's over $1.5 million every single minute. You have trade, legitimate trade and tourism, that's very important to border communities. And a lot of us want to talk about trade and tourism. But unfortunately, illegal migration is what brings the topic, and we have to find that balance. So whatever we do as Democrats, we have to have a position. We have a position on immigration, but we need to have a position on border security, sensible border security. And I think that if people just look at the way, and I always see, he probably is getting tired of me mentioning his name, but Secretary Johnson, I think, did it very well. He found that balance. He didn't create new laws, didn't ask for new laws, didn't ask for Title 42, didn't ask for this. He used Title 8 expedital removal. You put money in the operational capacity, detain and deport the ones that are not supposed to be here. 